I see dead people. Plan to not just help people in the moment, but to teach them how to protect themselves moving forward because I know firsthand that once these energies, spirits, ghosts, whatever it is, find you, they'll keep finding you. Wait a minute. Stormy Daniels speaks to the dead. I've always had some pretty intense paranormal experiences growing up, mm -hmm. but I've been doing it professionally and full time for about two and a half years. So if there's someone here with us, could you please let us know? Could you knock on something? Could you touch one of these objects? Could you touch one of us? Everyone has this fear of death. I don't know what particularly happens, but I do know that it doesn't just end. I guess the larger question is, are these malevolent, these things that you encounter, that you channel, that you're a medium for? <laughs> I would say 95 to 95 percent. No, absolutely not. There's they're benevolent or indifferent even. You know what I mean? I've only come across a few things that were really, really negative. Like I mentioned my partner in the show, Justin. I've never been afraid of him in any capacity. He came into the bathroom while I was getting ready. He came in behind me and I literally wanted to like jump out of a window. I have never been afraid of him. And he just stood behind me and looked at me. And he later confessed that he wanted to hurt everybody. And that's not him. That's not him. And he got a hold of himself and went outside. But like everybody felt like this oppression. I, I don't know. Like it was just, it was a bad vibe all night. And then you have intelligent spirits, intelligent human spirits. And you have um, non-human spirits and then I just only started kind of opening my mind to what could what could be an alien like if you look at drawings and things of aliens they look very similar to what other people call a demon so if you're super super religious hardcore Christian and you don't believe in aliens and you see this thing outside your house looking in you're gonna the word that you your language and you're gonna use is demon right and then you might have an exact another person that doesn't believe in demons has never read the bible doesn't know what a demon looks like and they see the same thing looking in and your verbiage is gonna immediately be alien according to the hills we are told i see dead people alvin bragg's case against trump goes paranormal and they went on to say, I see dead people before this week. That claim was most associated with the nine-year-old character Cole Sear from the 1999 film, The Sixth Sense. Now, it is one of the talents claimed by former adult film actress Stormy Daniels in her bizarre testimony in Manhattan during former President Donald Trump trials. What in the world is going on here? Adam Hunter posted on Twitter, Stormy Daniels said she can speak to dead people, so she obviously been in touch with Joe Biden. Come on, man. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about that? Even the media, I should say the anti-Trump media personnel begin to realize there's something strange about this. They use the word salacious to describe how strange of a thing that's going on in the courtroom here. Stormy Daniels is facing backlash today for her gripping but graphic testimony at the Trump hush money trial. Yesterday's testimony was so cringy and so tawdry and salacious to me. The most salacious testimony yet in the hush money trial against former President Donald Trump. Bill Maher, who suffers from a really bad case of Trump derangement syndrome. Um, so. He definitely made a deal with the devil. At some something, point. something. Because yeah. he always lucks out on everything. Yeah, he has I mean, the best just, enemies. Look at Michael Avenatti, look at Fonnie Willis now in Georgia, the right. best enemies who right. just, it helps him so much. Uh, pulled out one of his videos to show, you know, the internet never forgets, right? How this woman's testimony and that which she's saying now and what she said then, how much of it just doesn't make sense. And it's pretty remarkable that this stuff is out there and I'm wondering if the court is going to consider all that as part of the evidence as well, if Trump's teams will bring these things up. But uh, I was like, is she serious? Take a listen. So it's stormy or bust. And she's a bad witness because, let me show you a little video. This is when I had Stormy on in 2018, and first I asked her why she had sex with Trump. Okay, <laughs> but you say it's not a Me Too case. It is not a Me Too case. What? I mean, I wasn't uh, assaulted. I wasn't attacked or raped or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. And first of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth and I'm not a victim in that regard. 
That's not what she's saying now. Judge Janine from Fax News, after carefully examining the entire evidence and listening to the testimony, and she had a few things to say about this, which was pretty amazing as well. Let's take a listen to that as well. And I think she really lost any sense of credibility when she started talking about her talking to the dead. You know, she's got this ability. You know, she lived in a haunted house. Somebody left her. One of her children's fathers left her because of this haunted house. I mean, she came across as pretty kooky and uh, not not at all believable. And to be honest, I think people are trying to figure out why she's even there in the first place. Her testimony is completely irrelevant to the charges that have been leveled against Trump, which is fraudulent bookkeeping. And yet her entire testimony were, was filled with these salacious details about a sex act. It was completely inappropriate to the point where the judge actually had to scold Alvin Bragg's team for putting her on the stand in the first place and having her share those things. So what am I saying? I'm not, I'm not saying because of her religious belief or because she communicates with the dead and stuff like that. That means we cannot listen to her testimony as if she doesn't have anything good to say. But what I'm saying is simply this. Um, she is contradicting herself in that the more she speaks, um, <laughs> the less credible she becomes. And it begins to really show that there is something politically wrong behind a lot of what's happening to Mr. Trump. Uh, again, it goes back to what he's been saying. This is another one of election interference again and again being raised against them and it is very obvious what's going on here no i'm being indicted for you i'm being indicted because of what we've done and i'm being indicted because they're afraid of all of us because we have a movement that's never been seen in the history of our country make america great again MAGA. what are the odds that an incident from 15 to 20 years ago would now become the object of litigation just months before an election. It's kind of a strange coincidence that the media doesn't really seem to focus on. That might be one question that would make you go, hmm, maybe this is political. Oh, here's another shocking reality. In, in Trump's recent rally in Wildwood, New Jersey Beach, 100,000 people showed up. 100,000 people. We are told, my dear friends, Wildwood became a hotspot of Saturday as local official said nearly 100,000 people packed the beach to get a glimpse of former President Donald Trump. What is this telling you? Well, I'll tell you what this is telling you. People love Trump. People are sympathizing with Trump. There's something about the way they're treating Trump is causing the hearts of many people to want to vote for him. Haven't I been saying that? Well, a CNN personnel picks up on that idea as well. Fareed Zachariah, he's admitting the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what we've been telling you guys. You guys are doing too much. The trials against him keep him in the spotlight, infuriate his base who sees him as a martyr, and even may serve to make him the object of some sympathy among people in general who believe that his prosecutors are politically motivated. This happens to be true, in my opinion. I doubt the New York indictment would have been brought against a defendant whose name was not Donald Trump. So what am I saying? Am I saying because she has a past and she's done her things and she's a porn star and yada, 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 uh, and because she, because of her religious belief, we cannot listen to anything that she has to say that has taken place and stuff like that. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. I, I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in freedom of religion. You can worship whoever you want as far as I'm concerned. But is her testimony making sense? The answer is no. Is she contradicting herself? The answer is yes. Does it look to me there's something political, something salacious, something strange, something facetious is happening behind the scene? Yeah, yeah, it looks very obvious to me that, that this woman cannot be trusted. Would it give you any kind of closure with your time involving Donald Trump to see him um, in jail? Specific to my case, I don't think that his crimes against me are worthy of incarceration. And I won't give up because I'm telling the truth and I kind of don't even know if it matters anymore. When it comes to communication with the dead, 
Is it really a good thing to even do that? The Bible tells us we need to be very careful with people who are communicating with the dead. I'm not saying you need to mistreat them. You need to call them out. I'm in no way saying you need to attack them. All I'm simply saying is any form of communication with the dead is forbidden in the scripture. And I'm going to tell you why. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, we are told we should not have communication with the dead. The children of Israel were told to do so. It is an abomination unto the Lord. Even the nation that came before the Israelites inherited the land of Canaan. We are told the Lord drove them out because of this. Spiritualism, mysticism, new age teachings, the doctrines of uh, of connecting with familiar spirits. These are, these are things the Bible speaks against. We should not be promoting that. And not only so, we are told, in, and secondly, we are told in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, Verses 5 to 6, that the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. They don't have a reward. They do not have love. They do not have envy. Everything about them has been perished forever, and they could not have communication or interaction with those who are on earth, who are living under the sun. We are told, secondly, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, that... Satan will be transforming himself into an angel of light, that his angels and his ministers will do the same as well. And we all told in the Bible that ministering spirits are called angels, which can impersonate dead loved ones to hold communication with you, which is a very dangerous practice. And if you want to know more about this, and I have had videos and Bible studies about this, I'll leave a link in the description below. I have a study called The Last Act in the Drama. So go check this out where I spend time breaking down the danger that is connected to this. Even with UFOs and everything else, there is a perfect connection lined up, built on the foundation of spiritualism, and we must not fall for it. Going back to Stormy Daniel. I wasn't attacked or raped or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. And first of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth and I'm not a victim. She needs some prayer. That woman needs help. <laughs> but it does seem to me, just like Donald Trump said from the very start, this is nothing but an election interference. This is merely an election interference ploy. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Share your thought and perspective with me. Links in the description below. Check out what else we got going on in this channel. Thank you for those who are joining us as members. So for those of you who haven't already done so, consider becoming a member. Support the channel as well. We keep the fire burning. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.